So thanks for being here to kick off this newest chapter in the life of Dancing Bear. We're really proud and happy to be a part of the Townsend community, even if it's just because we you know, own the property. Uh, you know, everybody knows we're from, from Nashville, but we're, we really are moving up here. And we just can't find anybody to rent us a house that takes three dogs. <laughs> so uh, maybe Chester will build us a house one day, but uh, we are living in this 800 square foot cabin over here or over there, whichever one's open. But we really feel a part of the Townsend and uh, just wanted to say how happy we are to be here, such a beautiful area of the so state. When, uh, Sharon, our little story is when we, when we found out about this property uh, being for sale, it was uh, late June of 2014, and so I called the uh, listing broker, Maribel Cola, who's uh, uh, you know in Knoxville. Well, she was on a two-week vacation up in the East Coast somewhere, and I think she could hear the anxiety in my voice because it really did look like something we'd be very interested in. She said, Mark, I'll fly back tomorrow if you really want to see the property that bad. I said, no, this is July 4th weekend. I mean, I don't really think she was going to do that anyway. Um, so, so we waited until uh, well after the, like 10th or 12th of July before we, before we came up here. And uh, we put a contract on the property. We love it. I mean, we fell in love with it, as you, as you can tell. And uh, put a contract on the property by August 1st and, and closed it by September 15th. So as you can tell, it was like a fast courtship and even a faster marriage. And so we quickly found out and picked up on the passion that surrounds this property. Uh, obviously, Townsend's blessed with beautiful natural resources, uh, Blount County in general, but uh, it, it was just a, just a magical place. And, um, you know, we didn't create that, obviously. The mountains were here long before us, but this property had a special energy to it. And uh, it started back in the 90s with Pete Maples and his wife Jennifer who built the original Maple Leaf Lodge. I think I saw Pete back there somewhere. I'd like to just sort of recognize them and give them a round of applause uh, just for being able to just for starting it. And then of course Matt Alexander picked it up from there and his team did a fabulous job. Uh, so we're, I mean I like to take the credit but no, no credit here is taken for uh, what's come before us because they did such a great job. We, we're just going to be humble enough to try to emulate what Matt and his team did and pick up the Dancing Bear brand and move forward. So as we also we are building four new cabins uh, up beyond, well right, not this first ridge but the second ridge back, well not really the second ridge back, okay. just, just over that hill um, which are going to be really cool, a very unique uh, our take on what a, what a cabin should look like and that's that's part of phase one as well and um, so we we are thinking that well Chester's thinking that he can be f finished in four and a half months but I'm, I'm gonna give him five and a half or six and uh, hope we can be open in August of 2015 this year uh, maybe July we'll see how mother nature uh, if she cooperates or not, but uh, this outdoor area, we always felt like this this property should be should be outdoors, and and so uh, this is what we're trying to recreate with with our team, and I think it's going to be very. Special. I tell you, this is a great great thing for Blount County. I mean, when when the bear when the dancing bear first uh, first burnt, it was it, there, it, there it was sad times at the courthouse. I'll just tell you that was. Uh, a tremendous blow to uh, to this to this community. It was a tremendous blow to the whole county as far as uh, revenue, uh, you know. And and there was a, a lot of really uh, 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 you know hung heads. We were we, it was it was a bad thing to to happen. And and what they're what what they're doing here is bigger and better than ever. I mean, this is going to be what once was is now going to be a whole lot better. And uh, looking at the drawings and looking at, at what they're, they're building here, this is a state-of-the-art facility. Uh, beautiful. It, it fits just absolutely beautifully with, uh, with what, what is Townsend and what we have in Townsend.